Hi, I'm Jason Demetro, head coach, South Sydney Rabbitohs. Leadership um, chooses you, you don't choose to be a leader. I think it's something that's inherent in a lot of people's character. Yeah, having a plan is vital. Um, you can't achieve it if you can't see it, is a motto that I like to use. And setting out where you want to go is important, but putting the steps in place that allow you to take that progression to the career you want to have. And it's also about being able to fall off, but get back on and go again. And with a plan, it gives you the backdrop or the base that you need to work from. Yeah, it started in England uh, in 2011 when I finished playing in Super League. I uh, got an opportunity to coach Keith Lee Cougars as a player coach. Uh, it was always something I was interested in. I coached my junior club as a young kid, uh, so it was always something that I was leaning towards. Um, yeah, I've spent the last 10 years working my way up through the grades and into NRL assistant, and then now head coach of South Sydney Rabbitohs. Yeah, I've been fortunate to work with uh, several good leaders in rugby league, both from coaching and playing. And obviously worked with the likes of Wayne Bennett over the last five years. Yeah, it was really enjoyable to spend some time with him. You learn a lot. You learn in some tough times. One of the things that I took away from that was the ability to stay true to who you are. Uh, understand that your players will respond to the authenticity that you bring to the table. And that's really difficult to do uh, when you have a lot of external noise. But the ability to stay away from that external noise and stay true to yourself is what ultimately the players will respond to. Yeah, it requires sustained performance. I've been coaching for 10 years and I've been able to sustain success at numerous levels of the game, both semi-professional and professional, and been able to adapt from being a head coach to assistant coach and then back to being a head coach again. And that ability to sustain that level has allowed me to get this opportunity here at the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Yeah, I think the most memorable moments that come to mind are that relationship things that you create, that a football club gives you and that connection from people that you'll have for the rest of your life. Um, we're able to achieve things on the field when I was in England, but also as a coach since I've come back to Australia to win a premiership in 2015. And it's those type of things and those connections with the players that allow you to strive for more. Yeah, we have a very strong team here at South Sydney, right from our corporate people to our sponsors and membership, right in through to our coaching team, our high performance team, and ultimately our football team. Uh, it's one team and it's a very strong team. Yeah, it's important for myself as a coach to understand the plan that the player has and to put plans in place for them, both in terms of how they handle their career off the field, in terms of um, financial um, and relationship support, but also have a plan on how they progress their career right from um, you know, the debut game into a long and prosperous career as an NRL player. My ability to sustain that performance level comes back to a few key areas. One is family, uh, I have a strong um, family support behind me. I've been married for nearly 20 years and I have three beautiful daughters that allow me to keep grounded, that keep me focused on what's important in life. Yeah, I, it's important I live by a few things that I stick by as a coach. I have uh, 10 commandments that I live by and one of those is we, we win together, we lose together, we improve together. Uh, I think that's from a coaching staff perspective but also collectively as a team. Uh, I never separate myself from my players. Uh, it's really important that we understand that we are a team and that best example of that is how I lead uh, and how I bring those guys on the journey with me.